running back with another video. Okay, I just got out of the shower. It's like 9.18, I believe it is. And so I was thinking as I was showering, which I get a lot of inspiration in the shower, you know? Um, anyway, I was thinking about how, you know, people use religion oftentimes to um, divide people. And oftentimes when that is a, a source um, to use as a form of like propaganda, that is when you're, you're misusing Christianity. Now, I mentioned earlier in my video about um, Joel's family, and I know that they, they, they still arrogantly think that they have some sort of rights over me, which they don't. They don't have any rights over me. And I believe that Polly um, is a very corrupt and crazy person. Obviously, if you adopt a child for the purpose of having sex with them, um, something's wrong with you, okay? Um, but yet, people will follow her instructions. They will follow the instructions of a child molester um, and yet ignore somebody who would never be guilty of such things. You know, and, and that just goes to show you how crazy and corrupt this world is. Now, maybe they sided with Polly because um, of the um, racial issue because they're racist, okay? Um, which obviously goes to show you that racism clouds and deludes a person's mind because obviously if you think that molesting children is okay, then something is wrong with you. So no matter how you slice it, whether I was married or divorced to Joel, I have a right as a woman to continue on with my life. Um, and yeah, I am in the process of divorce, but that hasn't, this has nothing to do with anything. Okay? It is illegal to discriminate against a person's marital status. Um, um, what can I say about that family? I really don't know much about them, okay, but obviously if that's what they do is adopt children for the sake of having sex with them, um, that just goes to show you that <clears throat> there's a lot to be learned about Christianity. And so with the, with the uh, what is the word, the campaign smear about me um, not respecting Christianity is not true. Obviously it's not. And if I'm somebody who can quote the Bible and has respect for what the Bible says, then that's not true at all, okay? What I don't like is the corrupt form of, of Christianity and the, um, the warped mentality that goes along with it. Now, many of you are familiar with a lot of the scandals that occurred, you know, throughout, I would say, oh, God, there's always been scandals, okay? But let's just start back in the 80s, okay? Um, we had issues like Tammy Faye Baker... And, of course, we all know about Jim Jones, and we know about the Jimmy Swagger and all these other people, right? That um, That's not to say that people don't do things that are wrong. People, what they call backslide when it comes to Christianity, okay? But some people, to me, are corrupt. They have something wrong with them. And this is the case of what I believe is related to this family. I don't have anything to do with their, their, their family, okay? And so for them to have any sort of control or say over anything in my life is absolutely absurd, okay? And I will not allow it. Now, Polly would never come out and confront me, okay, about this issue, and neither were her cowardly son, okay? But both of them are cowards, okay? She trained her little bitch, Joel, just to be the little coward bitch that he is. Now, don't get me wrong, I understand his point of view because he's got twisted mind, okay? He was a Manchurian candidate from the time he was born. I mean, for the time that they adopted him, okay? He's going to be able to be manipulated by mommy, okay? And then he's going to be able to be a decent or halfway decent person to me. That is his mind. He has a split mind, okay? Now, obviously, when you watch movies like Venturian Candidate, things about mind control, some of it is a little bit over-dramatized, okay? And exaggerated to, um, I don't know, maybe add more suspense to a story, story. But these things do exist, okay? Kind of think of it as a two-faced person, all right? Um, now, I, uh, that's not to say that I'm trying to take away from what I did, okay? Yeah, I married him. I lied about my race. It doesn't go any further than that, okay? Um, Polly is somebody who is extremely warped, okay? Obviously, if you have, you, you do those sort of things. And she wears this mask of Christianity. She's full of shit, okay? I don't have an issue with true Christians, okay? And I will say that true Christians are very hard to find. Because most Christians are there to get the all-you-can-eat buffet dinners, and they want to socialize, and they can't quote, quote one scripture from the Bible, okay? That is my issue with Christianity, is the hypocrisy that goes on in it, okay? 
But people who take the scripture seriously, they try to apply it to their life, and they live decent lives um, based on the ideal principles of what Jesus taught, I don't have any problem with. Why would I have a problem with that? If everybody was like that, we would have the problems that we have, okay? But what I'm talking about is a form of corruption, okay? She has no right, no say over anything that I do. That goes for her sister, Esther, who is a the head of a church, um, you know, and like I said, hey, if they're not guilty, come, come over to my house and all apologies, I can sit here and claim your name, okay? But their silence speaks volumes, okay? They're corrupt, okay? And they're running this Christian shit into the ground, okay? Um, I don't have any dealings with them. That goes for Callie Gardner, Gardner, or Gardner, Gardner, whatever her last name is, or anybody that relates to the Grams, the Wyatts, the Garners, and I, I don't even know the rest of those people. I don't know who they are, okay? So why should they have any say over what I do? I'm not a part of that family, period, okay? My relationship was with Joel, okay? Period. So, you know, the thing is about most people, it never occurs to them that they're being swindled. It never occurs to them that they're being tricked or that, you know, that the, they're, they're, that the issue is more than that, okay? Because all you have to say is a person doesn't go to church and you can immediately turn a person against another person even if you don't know the entire story. Maria Liger has been, she said that she was um, a mixed race or something and she doesn't go to church. Instantly, I can have sh shitloads of enemies, okay? But you, you know the rest of the story. No, you do not, okay? There's a lot of women who go into towns all by themselves, you know, there's plenty of stories of them, going into towns all by themselves, trying to set up a life for themselves, and they get in a relationship with a guy, and the dude's a fucking freak, okay? This happens to a lot of women, especially people that are not really close to their families, people take advantage of them, okay? In this situation, I kind of think I'm being taken advantage of, okay? Especially when you consider what these people really are. Now, that's not to say that um, I don't, like Joel as a friend, okay? I like a certain side of him, okay? But I know that he's controlled by his mom. I think he has a love-hate relationship with his mom. That ain't my problem, okay? Because I don't have anything to do with them. Don't want anything to do with them, okay? I want, I want to be friends with Joel because I don't hate the man, okay? I kind of, I kind of see where he's coming from. If I was a child and I was placed in an adoption, situation and I was adopted by these what I call two-sided people that presented themselves as sweet lovable rep, uh, what do you call it um, reputable people within the community and then had some other life outside I mean when you got home and everything was dark and whatever just kind of like he like there was this there was a scene in that movie and in, in the mentor candidate where um, the mother's trigger would be um, you want to I think it was like something along the lines of um, you want to get a deck of cards or something along those lines, okay? And oftentimes, I remember when um, Joel told me that his mom never lied. She was a good Christian and that she never lied, right? And I often think, was that a trigger word that she used for him or some sort of formula programming that she used for him? Because obviously, she's not a good Christian and she fucking only lies, okay? Everything about her is a goddamn lie, okay? So try not to paint me out to be the complete victim, I mean, the, a villain here, because I'm not, okay? I'm not a villain, okay? I think I was a really good friend to Joel. I really do. And, uh, you know, aside from that, from the lie that I told him, I think that I've always been very supportive of him. When he and I, um, you know, were paying our bills or whatever, I, I did my best to take care of it. Of course, I got mobbed out of my job in, in Chatsworth, and all this weird shit started happening. But the fact of the matter is, whatever I ever I did to him, or whatever we had agreements with each other, or whatever, I always tried to keep my end of the bargain. Period. Okay. And I think I've always been um, very kind and giving to him. Okay. And and I've always tried to relate to him. So I'm not a villain by any means. Okay. Um, I'm not sure exactly what notations are in those um, data banks in these these agencies. But I'm long, you know, going to forget about them. But I will say, once again, that it's like, if, if she is the one who's pulling the strings in this situation, okay, that people are more likely to listen to a child molester, a warped 
hypocritical child molester than they are to a upstanding black woman in this country. Okay, so once again, America has beautiful landscapes. <laughs> America has very beautiful landscapes, okay? Um, <laughs> that's very strange, but it's very true. Um, no, I'm not the one that I, I don't think I'm the one who should be getting harassed. You know, if anything, people should be sitting here and throwing shit at her yard. But you know what? This is the topsy-turvy world that we live in, and that's the biggest problem, okay? Um, a lot of things have been done in, in the name of Christianity, and people don't pay attention to that because they just think that Christianity is a duty that you go to church and you, you know, pay your tithes and you socialize and you listen to some mumbo-jumbo that you really don't care about. You're going to walk out the door and forget everything that... That the, the preacher said, you know, and you're not applying it to your life. It's just something that you do to save face within your community because it really doesn't matter to you. It really doesn't matter to you, really. I mean, I, I, from what I've seen, it really doesn't matter to most people, okay? And that's unfortunate because you should take your spiritual life extremely seriously. Or whatever religion that you claim to be, you should live that to the best of your, your ability because you're supposed to be accounted, counted, accountable to God. Now, some people will say, and I, this is what really irritates me about certain so-called Christians that really, they are like, well, you're making such a big deal out of it, man. Can't you just go and show up to church? Not if I think the church is corrupt. No, I will not. Okay? That is the whole premise of the Bible. That is the entire point of it. Is are you going to do this to gain salvation? Are you going to be a part of this, with, with, what they call uh, Babylon, uh, the great Babylon, the... Um, I forgot what, how they referred to that. But basically, um, the part of Christendom or the, the false part of um, religion that is basically going to lead people to their downfall, or are you going to try to be as righteous as you possibly can? That is the, import, that is the entire point of the Bible. So when people you know, sit there and say, oh, well, you know, can't you just like, go anyway? What's the big deal? The answer is, it is the big deal. That's the biggest part of, that's the whole goddamn shebang right there. To ignore that is just absolutely stupid, and it, that's, it makes absolutely no sense. So my point is, is that I'm, have, I'm dealing it with a world that does things that they don't understand. Okay? I'm the kind of person, and, and you know, I remember Mr., and I'm going to call him Mr. Murray. Fuck Steve Murray. Fuck, fuck him. Okay, I remember Steve Murray, Murray calling me a, um, what do you call it? Expressive. <laughs> I'm an expressive. To a certain degree, I am expressive, okay? I am a gifted person. I, do, I can express myself through color and stuff like that, okay? But I'm extremely analytical. I'm extremely analytical, okay? So in situations like that, I can see that that's bullshit, okay? I don't do things that contradict each other. I don't, okay? My life has meaning. You will not see me in a church that focuses on prosperity preaching. You will not see me in a church where people accept and, and, and basically turn a blind eye to corrupt behavior. You will never see me in those churches. You won't. Okay? It's, it, you don't even, even have to ask that question because the answer is no. The, the very point of it is your salvation is based on that. That's what a Christian is supposed to know. Okay? So... That just goes to show you how very little people know about their religion. And so people get fired up over nothing. There are two sides to every story. So until you know the facts of the story, perhaps you shouldn't judge. I'm going to wrap this video up, and I'll be back with another one later.